Buzz, I... I... Uh, she'll be okay. Bonnie will be okay. We said goodbye to some of the most iconic Pixar characters of all time in Toy Story 4, Buzz and Woody, and in a bittersweet way as well. However, Toy Story 5 is on its way, and that opens up a lot of questions from fans like you, but I'm here to tell you that this might be a good thing. Toy Story revolutionized animated films, and since then, Pixar has become the gold standard of animation, telling emotional, relatable stories that adults enjoy as much as children. Although, Toy Story stands out because of one prime thing. The sequels have never failed in quality, unlike most other franchises as sequels get made. Well, that's just hurtful. They've introduced us to new characters, both evil and ones we can't help but fall in love with. And one thing's for certain, they always bring out the child in all of us. But the main question remains, how do they top Toy Story 4? After multiple great endings to the franchise in Toy Story 3 and then 4, how can they possibly bring this franchise to a close once and for all? Toy Story 4 ended with Woody and Buzz going their separate ways, saying goodbye for the final time, both to each other and to us fans. Woody went on to lead a new life of Bo Peep, and Buzz continued to belong to Bonnie, living comfortably with Jesse, Rex, and new additions such as Forky. Everything seemed perfect. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean they can't top it, but why now? On February 8th, 2023, returning Disney CEO Bob Iger confirmed some huge news in a quarterly earnings call for the studio, including the fact that the fifth Toy Story movie had been greenlit and is now in active development despite fans questioning if we need another. In total, the Toy Story movies have grossed over $3 billion, so greenlighting a sequel is a no-brainer for anyone smart enough. And one thing to point out is Toy Story is Pixar's baby, and they could have another genius story up their sleeve. So when can we expect this next movie? Animated movies have a much longer development and production than live action movies, and in particular, Pixar movies, as the studio puts so much effort into its photorealistic effects. The rendering time alone takes up a shocking amount of time, as one frame of Toy Story 3 took seven hours to render. As a reference point, Toy Story 4 was announced during a Disney investors call in 2014, but it wasn't until five years later that the movie was finally released. And if the upcoming animated movie has the same timeline as Toy Story 4's development, we could be waiting as long as 2028 for a release. However, Pixar currently has three untitled movies on its slate dated for June 2025, March 2026, and June 2026. So could June 2026 be the release date of Toy Story 5? As we know, Toy Story 3 and Toy Story 4 both had a summer release date, so we can expect Toy Story 5 to follow that suit. But as a fan, you probably want to know the potential story and what characters we could see returning. Well, two have already been confirmed by Disney and Pixar, and that is Woody and Buzz, which makes us all wonder how. Buzz will be voiced by Tim Allen again, the actor confirming the news himself. But as of Tom Hanks coming back as Woody, it is still up in the air. As for a director, Josh Cooley was the director of Toy Story 4, taking over the reins from John Lasseter, the director on the first three films. Cooley has since moved on from Pixar to direct an animated Transformers movie for Paramount, which is due for release in 2024, which likely rules him out from directing Toy Story 5. However, with a wealth of talent at Pixar, expect someone at the studio to be handed the reins for the fifth film, and rest assured that it will be in good hands. But with the ending we got in the fourth movie, how is this all even possible? While it's hard to imagine how the series could continue, Toy Story 3 also had an emotional ending, and before the release of Toy Story 4, the series was considered a near flawless trilogy. When Toy Story 4 was announced, many believed that it could have ruined the series, but the 2019 movie proved naysayers wrong. This movie could repeat that accomplishment. But how, you might be asking? To answer that question, here is my perfect theory for the conclusion of Toy Story. Years have passed since Toy Story 4. Bonnie is older now and it's time for her to move on from her toys. She has the idea to give them back to the one person who showed her so much kindness when she was younger, Andy. Andy has graduated from college now and is married. Bonnie and him have kept in contact over the years and she wants to give the toys back because Andy is expecting his first child. What better way to bring the kiddo into the world than with their dad's old toys he treasured? The toys are so excited to be back under the same roof as Andy after so many great years with Bonnie. They meet up and Bonnie breaks the bad news to Andy that years ago on a family trip, she lost Woody at a carnival. 
Buzz and the gang of toys see how this upsets Andy and decide that they need to find Woody and tell him the great news, and potentially see if Bo and him would like to come back for Andy's new child. But they have a limited time as Andy isn't going to open the new box of toys until the child arrives, which is super soon as his wife is close to delivering. The toys head to the last spot the carnival was to find it gone, and with it, Woody and Bo. This could introduce new characters and old ones to help find Woody and Bo's whereabouts. Finally, they find them and they come back with them just in time to see Andy's new child come home from the hospital and we get hit with nostalgia and emotions as Andy opens the box to find all of his toys from his childhood. The toy story comes full circle back to the start of it all. Andy playing with his toys only this time with his kid as a new dad. But will you be watching Toy Story 5? What are your theories for the new movie? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the movies.